Okay, and I'm slightly early, and I'm just going to try and finish off some of my other work for a minute while everyone is uh, realizing that today is the day I'm actually going to get the stream started. As uh, yesterday I had a uh, urgent work request come up, and I'm technically still working on it after 12 hours yesterday. So that's, that's fun. Um... Hope you're all having a pleasant weekend. It is now Sunday. I planned to stream yesterday. Let's get the July 2021 opened up. Because I'm good at names. So, why is there no sound? Okay, there is sound. Right. Now, one thing I'm having a problem with is ghasts. Ghasts are terrible. So I've got all these never bricks. I've not really done the thing with yet, so let's turn that into as many bricks as I can, and I've got a plan in mind. But first, I actually need to go to the overworld. Um, oh, I got some pork. When did that happen? Uh, dump that in there. Um, hmm. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right. Overworld. No, wait. Shovel. Now I'm level 34 as well, which means I can level up another item. So I'm I am honestly gonna expect to get more messages about my work during this stream, and I'm gonna try and ignore them until about three o'clock, and then after three o'clock I'm gonna work the rest of the day. Because that's that's what I'm doing now. But hey, I, I'm enjoying my work. I look forward to showing you some of it on some streams. I've got some bits that should be a bit more interesting, but at the moment, I am aligning things. And it takes... Well, this way, I started one of the bits going before I started streaming, and it is still going right now. So Unbreaking Free, we got Unbreaking Free. It's, it's something. Okay, so I'm going to need loads of sand. But the question is, chat, I'm going to make some big, big, aesthetically pleasing windows in the nether. Because that seems like a good idea, right? Now, I know wind glass is fragile to uh, uh, blah, 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 the, the ghasts, but it's only fragile if the ghasts shoot the glass. The gas cannot see through the glass. So, in theory, I'm just going to check all my sound is working actually before I do too much of this intro. Yeah, it's all allegedly working. And you'll have the sounds of outside, I'm afraid, because it's. Uh... Yeah, let's put the music at 50, why not? Master volume, let's put it a little bit louder. See how terrible this is. That should help. Um, brain. Yeah, outside noise. That's that's where I was getting to. What else was there? There was a thing. Oh. I'm gonna need shears for that. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna need a load of glass because I'm gonna see through the window because. Um, in, in the aesthetics game, the Never is actually one of the better places to build ridiculous big things. Because it's already so full of space, but it's still indoors. So you don't have to worry about putting, you know, roofs and stuff on. You don't need to worry about, you know, like, oh, if I have a roof on, it'll rain inside and it'll look silly. Nah, I just want to build a really nice big gothic wall. And then while I'm waiting for the sand to cook, I'm going to be mining for Neverack. No, Neverack. Well, yeah, I guess never right. Never right is what I had in mind. Now, unfortunately, the best place to dig is 15 blocks under lava oceans. So, sometimes the lava oceans, you know, they want to get involved. And at this point, I've gone from, ah, oh, I'll try and, you know, I'll try and just collect all the lava to, nah, I'm just going to try and brick up the ceiling and hope for the best. Um, yeah, going to... I want to say eight stacks of sand, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So when I get anything in my inventory on the hotbar, I know that I have gotten enough. Is eight stacks play too much? Almost certainly. But there is time to do things. Also, the question chat uh, will be, what colour glass should I use? Because I've got loads of black dye, I've got loads of red dye, I've got loads of white dye. So I could do, well, red, pink, uh, braining. Red, pink, black, grey, light grey. Um, no, I think that's kind of it. Um, in theory, I have access to blue dye, but not much of it. I have access to green dye, just not much of it. Uh, hmm. Apparently, it have less options than I remember. Technically, then, if I have blue, I have access to light blue, and if I have access to green blue, I have access to, like, teal. So, there's, there's choices there. Not found a jungle yet, so I've not got any brown dye. Or I've not found a merchant that sells it at least. Uh, lime green, I guess, if I've got access to green. I mean, I've got a lot of choices, but I'm thinking... Technically I've got access to yellow as well, but yellow is more difficult. I need to go find some sunflowers, really, for that. But, uh, in theory, though, I have access to most of the main colour groups. Um, I can then use them for the big windows, and I'm thinking I could just use big windows, I could use stained glass windows, big single colour windows, I could be really boring and just use plain clear glass windows, and just be like, yeah, the, the environment's already, you know, enough as it is. There are options, that's, that's what I'm getting at. Also, as it is 6 o'clock in the morning, US Central Time, I'm unlikely to be joined by anybody, but if anyone does want to join me in the VC, and who is watching this, I am happy to jump in and be coherent-ish. And I'm already picking up notification dings on Facebook. It has been seven minutes. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, I'm trying to not de-desert too much in a way that's, I guess, obnoxious. Also, you may notice I'm wearing some rather stylish trousers. Let me put into F5 view. Yeah, you can't really tell. And I've still got my gold helmet and my iron breastplate because, damn it, I got the iron breastplate just before I found a massive horde of diamonds. Because I was like, ah, oh, I need more cobblestone. I'm going to go mine cobblestone in my mine. And then I found two big ore deposits and I had fortune free. So, you know. I think I got like 29 diamonds from two little like patches. It's good times. So I made all my gear that I'd need. Not got a diamond helmet because pig repellent. Um, I could probably get by without it. Then I'd have to fight every single piglin I found, and that would be tiresome. Also, I way overdid that. So that's good. Right. Talkin. Talkin's good, right? And the desert doesn't look too horribly, like, mutilated yet. Yet. Could you get orange dye from pumpkins? Seems a bit... odd, though. That church is extremely basic. I've really not finished this yet. I need to get more bone meal. Grow those trees, cut them down again. All that jazz. I'm really hoping that the mushroom grass will spread soon because this seems like kind of an oversight. And yeah, I guess eventually it could cover the entire never, but that's what grass does in the overworld if you leave it long enough. So, eh. Eh. Alright, let's dump out that. Uh, I'll take the whole stack with me. There we go. Uh, right. How much cash do I have? 20. So I need quite a lot more to get anything useful. Um, right. Well, I can come back here, but I've got beetroots for red dye. Shame carrots can't do orange dye, but I've got yellow flowers, and I can go and plant more yellow flowers. Could probably harvest some beef, actually. Yeah, there's no beeflings.
just have some more substantial food. I've been breeding up the cows for a while, as I'm sure you can tell by their massive overpopulation in this little field. Uh, I do plan to change that soon. Oh yeah, also, I've done loads of buildings since the last stream, haven't I? Because I just kind of kept going after the last one. was like, should have streamed again on Friday? I want to say Friday. Oh, uh, these cows were like, oh no, what happened to Charlie? Let's go and check out what happened to Charlie. Oh no, it happened to me. Uh. Um, yeah, that 48 is, 48 is enough. Oh yeah, I built this t little terrace house. Let's, uh, let's have a quick show in. So I've not finished furnishing it yet, but I've got a fisherman. Got a bedroom. It's very basic. I could have had an attic space there, but I'm not bothered. Just go out the back door. So it's got the little little covered over kitchen. It's only two stories. I could probably make it three stories. Um, but you'd have a really tiny bedroom because I was like, I want to put a chimney in. And you may have noticed with the chimney that. Let me just get this gate shut. Don't want things drifting in or drifting out. Yeah, you can just see into the living room of the other place. But it was that or have even more sticking out. Be one more block in each direction. It didn't sound like much, but then you'd lose that window and you'd just have a huge brick in the middle of the house. But yeah, I tried to do it with a wall so it looks slightly less thick. Huge imposing fireplace though. So got loads of sand. I got loads of could do with some more arrows actually. Ah, oh, that's convenient. It is meet-up time. Hello there. Please buy all of those. Right. What do you sell now? Oh, nice. You'll buy <laughs> rabbit hides. Great. And uh, you'll sell me a dyed leather tunic. Oh, very fancy. Excuse me while I don't. Uh, where is the Fletcher in his silly hat? Fletcher. Fletcher. There he is. Jump in the pond. Sneak up on him. Buy more arrows. There we go. It's currently, I don't really need leather for stuff. Uh, now you need gunpowder for TNT. Um, I mean, my debris farm's pretty good already. I will, however, be resorting to TNT for some of them. Uh, right then. So that's my Neverack one. That can get all the sand in it. Uh, there we go. Braining, braining, braining. Fuck. Um, right then. Uh, I've got this. I don't know if I had this last time. That's the uh, respawn anchor that is made of lots of crying obsidian and glowstone, and is powered by glowstone. I've now got my sonic boots, which, uh, let me just demo them in the worst possible way. To do it in third person so you get to see the, uh, the spooky ghosts. Spooky ghosts. So. Um, I'm still doing this, so I'll just do this because it's fun. Yeah. Come on then. Do you want me to commit a hate crime on you? So yeah, this this sword is almost entirely used. Ah uh, yes, the respawn anchor is new. It has the option of four charges, and if used in the overworld, it explodes like a bed. But in the Never, it works like a bed, except you don't sleep at night because there is no night. There's a lot of pigs. Here. Yeah, I may have to. Well, not so much drop out of the stream, but I might um, if I find a convenient time. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Um, I will be just checking up on the software because it's technically just idling in the background getting on with stuff it's not going to infect, infect impact the stream at all because Minecraft isn't that taxing already um, and the software uses less than 10% of my CPU at maximum 
Um, I had one pie yesterday where I think I genuinely left it four hours before it got to the next step. That was, that was, yeah. Don't, don't do like 12 parts at once. Do like five. That works much better. Because, uh, from what everyone's favourite sock puppet was saying, um, it's the software is not optimised for working. So in theory, this chicken pit should be producing me loads of chicken after a bit. But it doesn't. Because um, in theory, if you feed them, you get enough chickens in there that they, you know, explode. Also, that was a triplet. Nice. Um, the chickens don't seem to understand how you get... Oh yeah, I'll just open the hatch. That'll do it. Just go in the thing. Um, right. I mean, at that point, you could just use Blender, though, Saki, couldn't you? Uh, let's dump those swords in. I've got 56 more nuggets. Nice. Now, I was trading a lot of this gold, but... I'm currently just stockpiling it because I can. So I had rotten flesh I was meant to be selling. Never mind. Uh, so this is my taking stuff back to the overworld box. Um, I might unenchant that book just to be like weird. So I kind of like to have consistent ish. What's it called? Um, basis is for doing stuff. Grab these two. Alright, these piglins aren't too bothered about me. Uh, if I go across here, is this gonna work? Mm, yeah, but if I go across here, it'll work better. Right. Ooh. Ah, actually, that's convenient, because that means it goes straight down the middle there, so... Knock out each of those blocks. One, two, three, four... Now, this will still have some vulnerabilities to ghasts, but... I will manage. Basically, unless the ghast is at floor level, it's not gonna do anything to me. So the intention is... Nice big gateway there, and then continue this line. All the way along. Gonna make it a bit fancier later, add in some extra, you know, twiddly bits. The main thing is, um, I'm gonna have walls in most of these, apart from the gateways. And then... I'm going to have windows in the upper half, and I'm going to try and make the windows relatively fancy. So one, two, three, four. Now this isn't in what I intended originally to use all the, uh, the, 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 the stuff, the, these blocks I'm carrying. Never brick. But it's a very useful project because I'm fed up of ghasts knocking holes in everything. So that'll do for now. So that is one side. And then I keep going this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, you may go, ah, oh, this hasn't got any, like, foundations, it doesn't go into the ground at all. I'm like, mm, yeah, but I'm going to try and make the ground around it better. One, two, three, four. And... Torches. Because in theory, I can just make conventional mob farms inside the nether. As far as I'm aware, if they have enough darkness, they will still spawn like creepers and what have you. 
Um, so I'm going to make a little s sample section of this. And then I'll work on to the proper full length. Three, four. Well, to be fair, I'm probably just going to work up through wherever I've got blocks for and go from there. One, two, three, four. Now I need to cut through the ground because the ground is inconvenient. Let's get some buckets ready just in case. And the pickaxe will go burr. This isn't a full burr pickaxe. It's not a five. It's only a three, but... I'll work on that when I can. Now obviously, this bit's under the ground. I'm just going to terraform it. Because... What's... I mean, I could have started the... You are the exact reason I'm doing this. My aim is terrible today. I'm glad I bought loads of arrows. Got him. Right. That was a way. Oh, there. Yeah. Not a waste. A mess. That is the word I'm thinking of right now. So, in theory, once it's done, this wall, apart from a few gateways, will stop the ability for ghasts to exist. Leave some of the fires. Yeah, that arrow's gonna stay there. Why did it die? Hmm. Oh yeah, remember how I was saying last time? It's like, ah, oh, I need to go and look for a Never Fortress. So if you stand here, right? You know how you can see that Never Fortress. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta go and explore that in a little, some more in a little bit. But I thought I'd leave it mostly untouched for. Uh, the stream purposes. So, I'm now going to need a lot of blackstone. I have ten. Excellent. There you go, there's some more. Because I like the nice contrast. I am think I'm going to use the polished brick because it looks nice. And again, so I'm going to leave gaps in it. Um, I don't know how many people have seen, well, had seen Varangia before it got destroyed by server dying, uh, but that is why I seek to emulate here, and I'm going to, I don't know why I had arrows on my hotbar. Slightly better. So the lower edge is going to be a bit less consistent because it's going to, you know, fit the terrain. But the top edge will be better. And this basically means that the gas has to get right up to one of these doorways to be able to shoot through it. And the gas don't generally get that close to the ground. Uh, I should have brought more of those blocks with me. Never mind. Either way. I'm gonna leave this bit open. Um, I'm gonna try and put some, like, probably some soul torches on there, just to make it look a bit fancy. And then... I'm trying to decide if I should do them in freeze. I think freeze will work quite nicely. Not quite certain how I'm going to do the uh, all the glazing, but the lower edge will be 
fairly consistent. There's lots of chickens about, okay. Oh, I'm out of fuel in that one. I'm out of fuel in that one as well. Okay, I need to go get some lava. So, let me just store those. Can I store most of those? I can. Uh, let's store arrows in my ender chest, because that's always useful. Not going to need the hoe. Want to limit the amount of stuff I've got that's valuable. You get to live for now, chicken. Uh, I have no food on me, but I'm sure this won't be an issue. Uh, no one saw me do it. So eventually, these vines should hopefully grow all the way up to the top, and then I can just, you know, escalate. I meant to bring blocks with me. So any square that's cleared, like I've found all the neverite, has these pillars put in it. So going to this view. So I'm mainly just here for um, lava. That's what I'm here for. And some extra blocks. Because, you know, extra blocks never hurt. Right, can I... Right, it's okay. So I did a peek... Lava above me again. I don't like this. Hmm. My plan is I want to try and take out the lower bit and leave the rest of it because I don't really care too much. More blackstone. That will be good. So I've built big windows like this before. Um, I forget which building I built them on though now. Yeah, lava is not my friend. However, lava is a productive thing to work with. You just have to work with the lava, not against it. Yeah, hopefully efficiency 5 means I can go burrow through all of the blocks and not just uh, the neverites. Right, I've got some fuel though. That's what I need because if I've not got any fuel going, then I've not got any glass cooking, so I've not got any, uh, f like, production happening. And I will come down here in a little bit once I've got the furnaces going again, and I will get try and get mine some more neverite because I've got quite a lot so far. You know, I've got three pieces of neverite gear and some like spare like scrap in my box. So you know, it's going well. I'm liking the new never update. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking oh, I could build some more terrace houses in in town, um, but so this is my, in theory, this is my bulk one, it's where I just, you know, if I've got a lot of stuff that needs cooking, it goes in there, but, um, hmm. let's grab some of that, okay, so building stuff, uh, this is all going to get turned into that. There's something I can actually do, which is... Uh, I'm going to make an entire stack of those, because I can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two more stacks of those. That's the thing. I'm, I'm going to use them up. It's not like they're going to be wasted. I'm just making big amounts rather than small amounts of things. I'm also going to turn off the that view because it's obnoxious. So, I probably could have done this with uh, words. Why am I forgetting the word right now? Blackstone. Blackstone stairs would look quite good there. But I didn't do that, so oh well. 
Not much of a difference, but I'll put the that in there. Now one question is How's that look by comparison? I think that looks alright. It's a little angular, but That's pathway that goes down to one of my lava ponds that'll hopefully eventually be drained and then I can get on with my day. So Thoughts then, do I keep it flat or do I put the little arches in and hope for the best? Kind of like the look of that one, not gonna lie. I will take your silence to mean that either you haven't heard me yet because of the stream delay, or that you think that I'm doing an amazing job and I should keep going. <laughs> right, let's fill out this end. Careful just to peck with the pickaxe, otherwise it'll just go burr and then everything will be gone. Um. Oh no, this bit mysteriously filled itself in. How how could I have how could I have known that that would happen? <laughs> if only it weren't so convenient. Now it's kind of dark, isn't it, in the never? Uh... Oops. So I'm going to try and make this wall nice and fancy because I'd rather look at a fancy wall than at ghasts as they scream and then blow big holes in my house. Because the amount of times I've had to replace the gates, it's it's silly. And this won't deal with the ghasts that get through the other side, but that's that's not important right now. So I could put a torch. Nah, a torch on that block looks kind of silly. Torch on that block, though. That looks alright. Kind of feels like there should be something else there, though. I replace these with the blue torches because you can see the torch, but you can't really see anything with the torch. And that's, after all, what torches are for, right? It's to see the torch, not to see with the torch. Totes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, that's looking a bit more presentable. There's this gap in the floor I'm just gonna fill in I guess. There we go. So the piglins and everything can still come and go. You know I can get all the pigmen to try and kill me, what have you. In theory, I might actually get skeletons spawning on the top of the wall. But only regular skeletons, not with the skeletons. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Do need to try and get some food shortly, because... The construction will get quite slow if I am, you know, stumbling. Uh... Now this is kind of major terraforming that I don't normally like to do, but... Let's 
it's for consistency, not for functionality. Uh, why is it so dark? I'm trying to work out which piece of the sun on my screen is causing this. Hello, Crispo. There we go. Right, so that's angled in a bit. So I've got a nice wall. And a lot of slow. That was me, I'm afraid. No one is. So you know these chickens have grown up, the ones that have managed to escape the uh, hatchery. That's probably what I should just use this for, is not actually for trying to, you know, have a chicken crusher, but just to uh, do that. Yeah, I'm not so bad today, I've got a lot of work to do, so... I am streaming because I wanted to stream yesterday and didn't get to work that to do, and had to work all day anyway. Now, if I had a fire sword, or I used my fire bow, this would be much better, but I gather that the effects of looting and fire don't, like, oh, it did give me a bunch of chickens, okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so if I stand there. <laughs> That's convenient, it's right in the middle. Um, well, I, could, I have loads of feathers from this, so I can actually start making my own arrows reliably now. Torches, I need charcoal, and I've used all my charcoal, so... Uh, well, I need to go cut down the toilet tree in the forest with a heading! Because I'm not actually doing that. Um, do I have any food? I do not. Hmm. Well, let's just return to the wheat field. That is one bread's worth. Alright. Let's go and make one bread, because that's all I've got. Because I say, once the, once the chicken farm is, you know more operational, this will be fine. But that's the first time it's actively produced um, chicken. Because until then it's been priming. So now it's quite full. There's a lot of baby chickens still in there, so they'll be a while. But when they grow up, I think, the entity size gets bigger and they will crush themselves and die. There's my never warp patch. I should harvest that again soon. Uh, I have energy, I can do the jumping. Yee. Um right, this this hillside, although convenient, is it's kinda of blocking my view. And by convenient, I'm not quite sure what it's convenient for, but it's kinda of blocking my view. So I'm just gonna knock the top edge off of it. Nice and flat, and I cannot. What? Where is the sun that is on my screen? It's 
definitely light on my screen from somewhere. Let's adjust the monitor a little. That's made it worse. Excellent. How? How is it doing this? There is nothing shiny to reflect on the sun onto my screen. There is nothing in the way. Like, my curtain is shut to the point where you can't see the light. Well, you can see the light, but you can't see the sun. I don't understand it. Hopefully, you can't see much better, actually. Never mind. I was going to say, hopefully the stream will see better. And I remembered, oh yeah, LED monitor. It's always lighter. So, I'm going to put some torches out in a minute, because then you'll be able to see. Now, I'm probably going to knock it off. Knock off. Knack off the rest of this hillside at some point. But for now, I just want to have it nice and flat with the terrain. Try and keep it regularly spaced so that I don't mess up the uh, the pattern. Now I'm meant to be cutting down a tree, aren't I? But I will have some charcoal being produced, just not right away. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now I've not had any interruptions on my end at least, so I don't know I would how that's most likely on your end, I'm afraid. Uh, that's going to be a nice big archway when it's done. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's free as well. Very exciting this, isn't it? One, two, three. And I think I'm going to start going back along the line now. Counting with Skog. Always a fun activity for everyone, I'm sure. <sighs> Getting through the blocks. Oh yes, um, if I hadn't already said so, I can very much recommend the Greg's uh, Sausage and Bean Bake. I had one of those for breakfast a couple of days ago. Very good. And the Greg's now do delivery, which is very good to hear. So this is already getting somewhat, shall we say, aqueductish uh, proportions. Also, I don't remember this massive hole here. Should probably explore more. Right. Uh... 
It keeps going that way. Okay. So was there a conclusion on what colour of glass I should use down here? Because I think clear glass could work, but I don't know if it would be too flat. As there's a fair amount of background light, at least when you're looking down on it. Knees. What even are knees? Right. So, the charcoal is cooking. Chicken will be cooking afterwards. More buckets. Right. Put never rack in the back so it'll start cooking it when it gets there. Uh, store those. I've not got any extra wheat, to my knowledge. No, no extra wheat. So I've got to hope I don't fall when I come down this tree. Because that's what I needed to do. I didn't need to come over here and do something else. I need to come over here and cut down the tree. And I have a fortune pickaxe. So if I knock the leaves off of it, it should go pretty well. Uh, also, I should probably start work on making a gold beacon for when I can get a beacon. Because, you know, that'd be useful. But I'm going to do the... Uh, I'm going to deal with the wither in the overworld because the overworld is not known for having big pockets of lava. This, you know, being, being horribly on fire is not productive. Um, as far as I'm aware, anyway. I could probably get the fire resistance armor that means I can, you know swim in it, but... Yeah. Not quite that uh, fortunately equipped yet. I should have got some charcoal for torches for doing this, shouldn't I? So... There's lots of glowstone in the walls, at least. That's nice to look at. So, from up here... Sure, it used to be lighter over there. Maybe it's just the renders being a bit weird. Oh, I, I do that, Socky. It's a really good way to get wither roses. Um, just, you know... Just gotta not think about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill the one that has a chick. That seems That seems mean. You, however... Right, chicken, another stack of that, store that, uh, I need sticks. There we go, and I once again have torches, huzzah! Now I just need to get everything else that I've run out of. Um, saplings. No, my plan is eventually to make at least an area of the nether quite pleasant, so all this nether axe can get replaced with grass. It's all going to look nice. That's the intention. You know, maybe put some wheat fields and stuff in. Right, while well, I'm waiting for those leaves to drop down, I'm going to listen out for ghasts, and I am going to set the next few parts of this drawing into motion. Let's go one extra. Yeah. So you can't see what I'm doing, but it's not exciting, so yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, I have an extra sapling. Now... I'm trying to think what a good solution to the windows is. Because I had some ideas and I'm now having different ideas and going, hmm, which is going to be better? Because part of me goes, make the windows um, so it goes like this, so you've got pillar all the way up, wall all the way up, window and window, 
Or do I go big window with pillar, pillar wall, or pillar window, no, pillar window wall, window pi wall, window pillar? I don't know. I'm in that creative bit where I'm like, I have too many ideas. Also, the very convenient thing of uh, that never fortress behind me, um, I built some of the way out there because of the um, the, the spinny fire boys, blazers, that spawned. Um, I built some of the way out there by just using um, like piston, like physics. Basically, I just went right piston with a button and just push the blocks outwards so I don't have to be above the lava myself. So if I get knocked, I don't, you know, tumble. Uh, what can I get rid of from this lot that is... kind of don't need all of those blocks there. So I've got this. This is, in theory, my full block stack blocks. The full block stacks. Um, I'm going to make some red brick. Store it. Right. Chicken at last. Om nom 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 nom. So, I've still not got any glass yet. I've got a bunch of saws to cook through first. So, oops, sorry. Mashing my microphone into things. That's not helpful. And Discord overlay is broken in the corner again. Uh, overlay off. There we go. Uh, let's check what that message was. Uh, I assume him saying, no worries. Uh, okay, so I may have put a post of someone's going, oh, I'm looking for this thing. And I went, well, as it happens, I make that thing. And now lots and lots of people are uh, lighting up my notifications. I'm not complaining, I'm just kind of confused. Um, so, I need blackstone, so I'm going to grab that stack of blackstone. There's no blackstone there. I have some basalt. I'm tempted to use basalt for stuff, but you can't do much with it. Let me just grab that single block of it that I have. So it goes polished, that's it. Now, you know, it, it looks nice enough on its own, but that's all it does, so... Uh, so, if I try individual windows... Let's try it over here, where I'm on the more sampley area, I guess. So if I go... like that, and then... Like that. That looks alright. And then I can have a little bit at the top where I get a... Well, I'll just make a top end just here instead. So if I do... That. And... Yeah, have a cross-shaped window at the top, and then the two underneath. That looks not terrible. Conversely, I could... do that, and have windows with a single window at the top. I could maybe do that in a different colour, but I, I feel like I'm going to do a sunburst in a cross-shaped window, because that'll look nicer to my mind. Now the only problem is with this is I'm going to need a way of getting down. And I'm going to have a central point I'm going to work from. And I'm going to grow one of them big trees. So I need 
single block. That did that not give me any? Wow. All right. Uh, fortune axe. Two. Okay, six. Still not much though. So again, this is one of those. I don't have scaffolding yet, and I really could do with scaffolding. But if I can grow this stuff, then uh, I've got a safe way down. Hmm, there are drums approaching. That implies normally one of two things a funeral or a protest. And you go, drums at a funeral? Yes, there are lots of Caribbean descent people in my area. It's quite nice. Their food shops smell good. Now, I didn't think this through, did I? Because I've built a stub of a pillar. Which I now can't really get to. Hmm. So yeah, this is going to need a lot of glass. But that's fine, because I planned for this. I'm thinking there's a point where I'm just going to... finish the wall, I guess. I could go all the way up to the ceiling, but... the ceiling is high, and... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a good project. Maybe I'll just have a temporary ceiling for now and use, like, Neverack just to bridge the gaps. E slow fall. Oops. That was totally worth it. Just hurling myself off a wall to get three bricks. So, one, two, three. vaguely trying to work out what's wrong with me recently as I've just been unreasonably tired. Like, more so than, you know, usual for me. Someone who is, shall we say, somewhat sedentary by nature because of reasons. Uh, I'm hoping I've not caught something or I had to go to the uh, godforsaken city that is the capital of the UK. <laughs> That should look pretty fancy with some glass in it. Now in theory I could be edgy and put it with like black stained glass or grey stained glass. You can still see through it, like that's black stained glass, you can barely even see that it's glass. In fact, it might actually work in my favour if you can't see there's glass. That could work quite nicely. Now one thing I have not considered in this is glazing. I think I will need to put the glass in as I go, otherwise that's going to be very difficult. Ooh. So, let's store some blocks. Uh, hmm. I 
not even got to the sand yet, so we've got plenty of time. I think when I get back, I'm going to have to get some neverite mining done. But, uh... Kind of tempted to revamp my house as well at some point, because it's currently made of cobblestone. And acacia. Although maybe I should leave it as it is and just do like a extension or something. Also, I need to remember to bring stuff back with me, don't I? So, grey dye. Right, so, bone meal. Dye. Black dye. Grey dye. There we go. Loads of it. I'm going to dye the glass, not just the... what's it called? I get 20 beetroots for red dye, and then I need stuff to make yellow dye. Uh, and I've got yellow flowers, but I don't want to just poach all my yellow flowers. Ah, oh, the sun's rising, that's nice. Right, let's get some chicken in me, and then we'll go hunting in the, the uh, hunting in the darkness. Oh, we've got an enchanted bow. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Yeep. This enchanted bow is unbreaking power one. That's good for the unbreaking, I guess. I'll anvil those together when I return. Actually, I've got 34 levels again, so... Hmm. Well, now I'm on fire. Gotta be careful out in the daylight. Uh, I have seen quite a nice thing. If you've got enough hoppers, if you've got a town wall like I kind of normally do, put hoppers around it and a pit. Then any zombies that try to attack you in the night get fall into the pit and then they burn up in the day. So. There's much more efficient ways of doing this, but I am lazy. I don't know what kind of plants would grow if you tried to use uh, this kind of grass in the never. I mean, I have grass in the never, so I'm thinking I'm just, yeah, I could... Uh, nearly out of bone meal. Now I've seen some quite nice machines for doing this. You know, it puts puts down bone meal, uses water to just scoop off the top surface. It's quite fancy. Hey, and I've not mutilated the landscape too horribly. And technically, yeah, I've got eight bones. I could do more, but I don't need to right now. So I've got eight dandelions, which means I can make 16 dye, which if I do it efficiently means I can make many, many stacks of glass. And I'm going to plant some of these poppies along there. Oh yeah, I've seen a design for an iron farm I want to try at some point, but I need more glass ready for that. So that's on the list. Um, I've got vines. Do I need vines in the never? Can I don't think I need vines in the never. Also, I can enchant one thing. Did I bring an thing to enchant? I did not. Excellent. I can enchant a book. Do I have any leather? Uh Um, yeah, so, store those, 
All right. Well, I'm I'm good at forgetting everything today, so that's that's good. No, keeping keeping to the theme. Uh, I'll try and finish that church soon. Same with this place, but I'm doing a lot of stuff in the Never, so yeah. Right then. Didn't bring us back as much stuff as anticipated. Store those. Uh, store all the die making stuff in there so I don't scrap it by mistake, because I've done that in the past. I've got more arrows. Um, right. Still waiting for the glass, so I think I'm going to go down into the mine. This is unbreaking one. It's something. Not this bow's not even going to get a name. It's just bow. All right, eat the chicken. Um, I have two different stacks of bone meal. There we go. Do know I've got paper here? That could go. I can make the app burn into arrows. Got dirt. What did I need dirt for? That's what I need dirt for. So. Gonna go and do some more neverite mining. Oh look, there's you. Please just cease. Kind of inconvenient that this grass has all gotten corrupted, but it had spread already, so it's fine. Um, so chat. I'm going to go to the Never Fortress in a bit, but I need to stay near this so that it's still rendered and that it still works. Because otherwise the furnaces won't work, and then, yeah, nothing nothing will happen. So, wee. So I need to be facing this way, so I stay underneath the house so that the furnace stays rendered. That's That's my theory, anyway. Um, uh, F3G. Let's, let us go. Pick up the buckets, have the blocks of safety. Alright then. Well, that's just rude. Hmm. Conveniently, though, that is the corner, so I'm just gonna... This, this can only go well, right? Let's go the other way. <clears throat> so, there is... Too much lava in here. That's what there is. Really? Alright. So there is, in theory, per every chunk, one deposit of Neverite. In fact, I'm pretty sure I heard there might be two. But the most likely place to find it is a level 15. Which, as you may have noticed, is where I'm standing, if you look at that. So I'm at level 15. Ooh. 
Now I'm, you're always safe mining Neverite, because Neverite is always surrounded by Neverack. So you can never go, oh, I'll mine this out, and then, oh no, I'm in lava. That doesn't happen. Well, it probably does, but it's not meant to happen, from what I know. So this chunk has already given me free, and this is the bit just not even underneath my house. So I'm going to go this way now, because I've got the bit from that chunk. That chunk is now cleansed. It's free of the taint of having stuff that I want. Right, and here we are. I wish that wouldn't keep happening. It's like, ah, oh, my nice my nice materials glop. Never mind. Uh that's not what I meant to do. Okay. So that's just a I should not be using that block for that purpose. That's what I should be doing. Some of these blocks I've literally mined into the corner and just been like, oh, there's multiple. Great. The other ones, it's like, well, I mined out the entire chunk, nothing here. Or at least I mined out the entire chunk at that level. I don't think I've mined out the entire, you know, bedrock up to, up to well, bedrock to bedrock in the case of the Never. Now, if you're mining through blackstone, it ain't gonna be there because it's always touch. It's always completely surrounded by neverack. So, for example, you won't find neverite in a bastion because a bastion is done on many of that. And yeah, always got plenty of lava. At this point, I really should just be blocking out the lava because um, I'm in the never. I've got lakes of the stuff. It's just a case of finding the place where I can, you know, isolate it. So this square almost certainly does not have neverite in it, so I'm going to keep going. Dimension saddens me. I should just get more buckets. I think that would honestly help a lot more than what I'm currently doing. Yeah, so finding Neverite is actually pretty easy. It can just take a little while. Especially if you don't have a mine that happens to be at the very convenient level of 15. Because I've found Neverite in the floor, the ceiling. I've also found one that was diagonal. So, this is why I tend to clear out much more chunk than I had before. Huh. Because on one of them, I was like, ah, you know, oh cool, I found the Neverite, and then I, well, I'm using the Burr pick. So it, it overmined a little, and then I knocked out a block, and then I, it was completely obscured, but I found another bit of Neverite in the seam, and I was like, ah, that's, that's, you know, good thing I messed up, because otherwise I would have lost out on more Neverite. You know, until I came by later to just strip mine the place, because strip mining, yeah. My inventory's full. I probably should have noticed that sooner. Right, let's take all this lot up and then come back again. Yeah, up to four debris per chunk. Although I think you have well, per deposit. Um, I know if you get very lucky and you get one near an edge, you can get, like, the really big deposits. Like, I think at one point I got a 20 diamond vein because I got the intersection of four chunks. So having had an eight, two eights, um, I don't know, it might have been three chunks. I don't know. 
Either way, I got one where it was 20 diamonds in a block, and I was like, yee. Well, not even just 20 diamonds. 20 diamond and ore. Disadvantage having this much neverite is uh, braining. Um, braining, braining. Get there eventually. Double chest. That's what I need because. Carefully framing the windows is uh, a good plan. Carefully framing them in Neverack is even better. Get all that. Keep that bit. Right. So you can still see through the window all. I mean, it does save time, but then again, I've got stuff I want to do up here, and it keeps it safer. Because the other thing is, I come up here to fix my tools. Because that has to be done relatively often. And tool fixing is done at my pig farm. So I'm actually going to go to that next. Because my pickaxe is getting a bit worn out. But the new, uh, since they updated, the pickaxe fixing is now really pleasant as opposed to what it was before. So instead of it taking age, like I know at one point I managed to get to like level 160 before my pickaxe fixed, whereas now it'll put almost all of your XP into fixing your tools before it puts it into um, you, which is quite nice. Yeah. Okay, so that seems to be a bigger lava pond than I would be wanting to work with, but never mind. Not saying much, I'm afraid. I'm trying to, trying to not die to lava. Which apparently takes more concentration than I expected. Oh, there's a bunch of them, though. So that chunk's been cleaned out. I guess I'll go this way. Eat some chicken first though, just in case I burn to death. Yeah, I think the height is 8 to 122. So in theory you could get really lucky and just be mining, like, to make a tunnel through the never and find Neverite. In fact, you might find loads of Neverite. You can also use explosive mining, however, I don't like the idea of explosive mining in a place that's filled with lava. It seems, you know, risky. Unless you have lots and lots of buckets ready. Yeah, 
I think at some point I probably will move an auto furnace down here, but I want to get more resources built up for that. Also, I could just start... Um, kind of tempted, because there's, uh, there's so much gravel down here, and gravel's normally, like, rare and or inconvenient. Um, very rarely, you know, anything other than those two options. I'm kind of tempted to gravel in the area underneath the bridge out to my nether fortress. Um, and then make nice pillars. And then just take out the top layer of gravel so it's, you know, looks right. Because then, you know, I can try and blend it in a bit better. I got a good feeling about this chunk because there's not any lava in it yet. Or anything else for that matter. <laughs> so, there. Hmm. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, let's not go that way. Let's go this way further. Why not? Let's not go that way. Uh, so I have eight nuggets right now. Mine one block of this, the fortune free. Ten. Really? Twenty-five. There we go. That's a bit more like it. Gotta start mining back into the lava. It's bad for me. Fill my inventory once more. So, let's go get rid of all this and then go fight some pigs for a bit. So, one area had never right in it, and we got it. It's something. Now, let's try not to mess up this time. Hopefully, eventually, this will grow tall enough it'll go all the way to the ceiling. Yeet. And hopefully, soon, enough stuff will have cooked that I can do something that's a bit more interesting for the lovely people watching. I am pinging again. Right, I have some glass. So, I guess I will go and use some glass to uh, do some productive. I might put a hopper. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine for now. I should start making some quartz bricks at some point. I am getting a lot of pings. And my tablet echoes it, so I'm afraid you'll have to put up with that for now. That's a lot of messages. Alright. Uh... Braining. Get there eventually. Right, so... Sand is cooking. Sand is cooking. Right, 36. 36 is not a multiple of 8, but 4 is... 2. 
I know what I meant. I'm just gonna just gonna walk away. Right. So enough glass for four die. I can make five sets of that. Chuck that glass in there. Now I've got loads of glass. Turn that view off because it's horrible. Right, now, place your bets that I will manage to injure myself in some fashion doing this. Because this should be the safest part. So this plant will hopefully keep growing. There is the first set of windows. They don't look quite as nice as I'd hoped, but let's get some distance on them. Yeah, it looks vaguely smoky. That's that's good enough for me. All right, can I see that one farting around over there? Right, watch as it will kill me while I'm halfway up the glass. Where? Where even is it? Hmm. So I'm probably going to take a lot of falling damage in the next few minutes, so... Hope you're ready for that. Well, the first bay is done. So yeah, was there a conclusion chat? I forget on should I go up to a set height or up to a aesthetically pleasing height with the glazing? So I could just do a big tall wall of it, like say 30 blocks or something, and then just leave it open and hope the gas don't come over the top, I guess. That wall looks kind of short. <laughs> There's no intervening terrain until you get to that end, so it might be worth using that end as the barrier? Full damage incoming. Hopefully it will at least be humorous for people to watch. So 64 blocks. is, if I get this one back, 48, so that means, maths I should better do faster, um, being really slow today. Sixty-four minus forty-eight is sixteen. So only sixteen blocks. I'm gonna have to go higher than that. Cause I'm pretty sure these bits over here are. Actually, no. That's only seventeen high. I think there. So uh, let's go have a nice twenty. 
to the lower glass then with the top bit. I'll just have to make do with that side. It'll be fine. So... Uh, right then, let's put some more stuff on to cook, and then I'll go and harass the piglins. Uh... Right. Have inventory space. Have food. This is pleasant change to usual. That's a regular piglin. Need a zombified one. Aha! Hopefully, this will gather us some. Eat some chicken. Eat some more chicken. It's even even more chicken apparently. Right. While these zombies are building up for a second, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more of the work done that I need to get done. Oh, I missed a bit earlier. Oh no. Constraint 1200 is uh, broken, apparently. I'll have to check what that is shortly. Uh, XP or gold farm? Sort of both. It's mainly just as a uh, way of fixing tools at the moment. I have seen some guides on how to break through the top of the never, so I do plan to do a, uh... Oh, that's a... That's a few eggs. Hey! Hey! Oh, I opened a chest. Yeah. We're standing on the... Yep, standing on the block. So yeah, the uh, the gold helmet will not protect you from uh, opening chests. The foulest crime in the eyes of the piglin. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of chickens. Now, throwing an egg at a chick shouldn't kill it. So I just have to feel a little guilty, not a lot of guilty. But if these chickens go and spread out, then I've always got, you know, I can always go bow hunting and have a snack whenever I desire. Because never is all about making things convenient for yourself. Nothing, nothing else, totes. Right. Put those chickens on to cook. Rotting flesh to the pile. I do plan to go and trade some piglins in a little bit, but first I want to get my gear fixed. Where are all these zombies? I know hoglins spawn over here quite regularly. No? Alright. Hmm. The TNT piston thingy. Yeah, I've seen a few people trying it. I know Avamance didn't seem to be able to do it properly for a while. Um... Wattles managed on his first go, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the Wattles style of doing it because that looks more reliable. They're basically the same, but there's a. Uh, I think the it uses two TNT blocks. I don't remember now. But no, there's an other way of doing it. And I do plan to get there at some point. I just need to... 
There are... N right, I know what I can do. Because I think they've all spawned in the underground. A lot of gassed fire over here, because I got lazy. Didn't tidy up. Let's run over to the Mawalt forest biome. That's the words. Uh, pickaxe will go burr. Don't think there's any lava drops on any of these, so. Yeah, there's my little Mawalt forest. And let's run back. Ah, oh, cool. I'll uh, have a look at that in a little bit. Um, as I install them as separate versions anyway, so it's not like I'm going to override anything. And if it can process many hundred assets quicker, then good. Right, there's a bunch of piglins here. So in theory... I should have reset all the spawns over here by running away from them. Now I can go like this. Hit and then run. And hope that they chase. Ooh, there's a lot of just regular piglins there. I'm going to try and trade them in a bit. Get some shiny things. Oh, they stopped chasing me. Nope, they didn't. Ah, fair enough. I'll, uh... Have a look at that in a little while, Socky. Thank you. But I wanted to try and have some fun playing Minecraft. I was up, like, last night, I did spend some time just seeing here. Kill five piglin, check on the software. Kill five more piglin, check on the software. Which reminds me, while those piglin are gathering, I'm going to check on the software. Right, constraint, constraint 1200. What is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, delete? Ow, oh, let's see if that fixes it. Alright, fix the next tool. Because all my armour is... Well, it's meant to be mending. But I got a bit impatient. Also, I'm trying to make a lodestone. I've got an extra neverite block. Not block. Bar. Never I blocks, I want to get one of those sometime just so I can have one. Whoops. Note to self, check peripherals before going outside. There's piglins over there that I'm pretty sure should be angry with me. Huh. Right then. Was they're apparently not interested in me. Actual regular piglin. Hello. Some soul sand. We'll be able to expand the never walk patch. Fire chargers, if I want to make fireworks, I guess. That's about it. And more soul sand. I kinda feel cheated, not gonna lie. Some point I need to finish make, making this as well. Um, braining. Gold swords can go in there. So I'm going to have loads of stuff to go and sell back when I get to the overworld. I've got 20 bars. I could probably do something pretty good with that. Some extra lava in there. This is the thing is this wasn't meant to be a high capacity one. This is meant to just be for like swords and stuff. But it works. So blackstone. Let's get some glass, I guess. Uh, do some more construction. Um, I was going to try and make an end, wasn't I? That was the useful thing to do. 
apparently on bedrock you can get I keep seeing people in comment section saying you can get neverite hose and I don't know if that's just a meme or not but it's it's bedrock so I don't really care but uh, I needed that die didn't I so I need make all the poppies into that make all of that into that and I need so I need red glass now if you make three at a time you can get tidy stacks of everything it does leave you with one left over die though so I can now make because that it takes six glass to make one so I can make a stack of orange glass stack of red glass and then five stacks of this. Right then, I've got more glass cooked. Uh, braining. Right, pull the die away. Shouldn't need it just yet. Spare glass can go away. Keep the buckets though. So, not got blackstone, we got blackstone pillars. Uh, should probably take it out of there. So, never brick. Loads of never brick. Polished brick wall. That's all I've got. So. Try some fun construction or something. So that's 16 high, and I want to make it 20 high. I think that's what I said to do. So. Now, assuming I don't mess this up, let's try that as the, uh, the starting point. So glass glass pillar that's glass glass once I got one I can use it as a template and it'll be much easier but until then I'm doing this by eye and brain Brain is probably the uh, point of diminishing return there. Haha, -ha, self deprecation, but it's legit. So, I am now nine blocks up, eleven blocks up. Getting down from here is going to be uh, dangerous, but we'll, we'll cross that threshold when we get to it. I was going to say bridge, but it's not really a bridge, it's more of a sort of abyss. Now, this could go really badly. It's not gone really badly yet. So, how high was this? This was nine, right? If that was a 64 stack of glass, which it looks like it was, that means that I've gone up... Uh, 38 is 6 off of 32. That's 24... Why am I so terrible at this? Well, okay, this is 16. This is 16, right. So 16 is there. There. So... Uh, 
that's risky. So, I'm at a height of 16. I now need to go up one, two. That puts me to a height of 20. Okay. So this is the top at 20. There's some obvious problems here. Uh, so, 21. So now I need to go... Orange is a hotter colour. So, red, red, Red. Orange. Red. Brick. Brick. Chiseled brick. Torch. Okay, let's get this resembling something tidy. Uh, use my silk touch pick in case I catch the glass. Not exactly sure on glass, but it's, you know. Helps if I don't break what I'm trying to build. Try and get this cleaned back. Okay. So I can get up to here. And then just tidy up that area. Oops. Right. And now to carefully dig my way down. Wish me luck. I didn't go too badly. times it's burned down that tree. It's embarrassing. Oh, that was close. So. Have I got enough to go up again? No. And then even if that's not the right height, it is now the right height by proxy. Um, or default. Let's go with default. I did have a piece of glass sticking out. I did have a piece of glass sticking out there. So let's go tidy that up, otherwise it'll bother me. Uh, 
Because netherrack is like scaffolding, basically. That'd be pretty cool if I could get it so I could have lava behind the glass. So then the lava light goes through it, which would be pretty cool, but probably wishful thinking. Alright, and that was... Oops. Yep. Let's try and find a nice vantage point. X. <laughs> May need to knock out that boulder. Uh, maybe put some floor in there as well. Yeah, you really can't see this because uh, that outcrop. I think that outcrop is going to go burr. Because, you know, reasons. Now I could do all kinds of different solutions to get rid of this outcrop in a fun and exciting fashion, but I think I'm just going to use the old-fashioned using a pickaxe. Then there'll be lava right in the middle of this now. That would be irritating. The good news is there's plenty of zombie piglins gathering, so I'll have plenty of XP to go and harvest. Sorry, it's full, but... There we go. Ah, that's a lot of blocks. Right then, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fill in this area. I'm going to make this place livable. I might as well make it aesthetically pleasing as well. So it didn't take too much damage, and I've got the first of the big windows done. Start stacking up Neverrack in there. You'll get to it eventually. Making my storage space more efficient is probably one of the more useful things to do. Get in there, there we go. Alright, let's go grab the rest of those blocks. Then we'll get some XP done to fix those tools. Well, that's just rude. So that's all that's meant to stop, but apparently it doesn't work yet. Uh, there's stray blocks over here for some reason. Not going to question it. So, at some point, um, I'll continue the wall that way, but for now it's just going to go this way. 
because obnoxious aesthetic walls are going to be a thing. Gib. Gib. Oh yes, yeah, so I found out one of the people who drives past very, very loudly, um, they have no silencer. Like, it doesn't even sound like they have an exhaust system, because when they start up their car, it sounds like a tractor. So... That was a fun thing I discovered. You know that place that I literally just put back together? Why must they do this to me? And this is why I'm always carrying this. Because ghasts are just rude. get its corpse, and then, uh... I might just make a big ghast, like a scarecrow. That might be a fun project sometime. <laughs> Maybe make it out of concrete. Right then. Loads of piglins. Not got much inventory space, but I'm sure I'll manage. So, fix my tools. Yeah, the fact that you can disenchant books is quite useful. So I've got that Soul Speed 2, but with my Soul Speed 3 boots. I mean, I guess it'd be useful to have as a backup, but. I don't anticipate being that unlucky. I mean, probably no one does, but that's beside the point. Add more chicken to the chicken fire. Uh, skulls for the skull fire and all that. Um, right then. I'm almost out of blackstone, so I need more blackstone before I can continue. This is totally a good use of my storage options. Blackstone. Have buckets. Have more buckets. Can I get even more buckets? I can get one more bucket. Right then. Didn't really fix my tools that much, but I've run out of zombie piglins for now, so let's gracefully fall down here. Rib cages shouldn't crack like that, I'm pretty sure, but what do I know? We not a doctor. Care is good, I guess. You know, I'm not gonna 
die of incompetence, I hope, but... Uh, Alright. Well, it's a little bit closer. Rude. Okay, so that area's not not gonna work. Um I guess I'll dig out some gravel. That'll be fun. Yay, we're having fun, aren't we? I'm digging out gravel, yeah. So much lava down here. Man, times I've died for dumb reasons because of lava. Now, as it may or may not surprise you, I'm not actually that interested in getting gold, so I'm only getting it if it's in the way. Let me put the grids back on just so I can work out where I'm meant to be digging. Which is just F3 and G on Java. Don't know what it's like on Bedrock. Couldn't say. Never played it. Well, tell a lie. Have played it. Played it on the Xbox with my nephews. They enjoy texture packs that I couldn't recognize anything with. Uh, Alright then. Why is this place more, much, much more sinful than the other place? Well, oh, there's some black stone. That's good. So I'm, in theory, here for Neverite, but I'm also here for Blackstone. And I fill my inventory again. This keeps happening. Okay. How do we get out of here? There. Uh, I gather the shaders are... Well, people who make shaders are working on it, from what I've heard, but I don't use shaders, so I couldn't say. Probably need to stop mining for a bit. Um, because I've filled up all of my storage options for material. 
Right. Um, I have ten blacks. Only ten. Wow. Um, right, let's store up more of this junk. Um, braining. So I can't really do much more until I've got more blackstone. And I don't know if I left any blackstone in the overworld. I'm just going to go and harass more pigmen. Okay, plenty of pigmen coming from over there. Let's try and Pied Piper a bunch of them at once. Oh, little one, let's stop trying that because I've succeeded. Right, so I get 30 XP, go back to the overworld, sell some bits and pieces, and enchant another thing. And then... Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Nice. So yeah, if I can make a um, farm up on top of bedrock, I can have a very nice time with all of the gold farming I want to do. I know I've seen someone's gold farm which used a delay switch which just turned on and off a never portal to spawn piglins. But that seems like a lot of effort. So I could, you know, just find enough obsidian to, or trade for enough obsidian to make an enormous portal, but eh, effort. Didn't give me as much XP as I anticipated. Hmm. Maybe I damaged my boots more than anticipated. Probably not going to stream for the full three hours today just because uh, I'm feeling slightly better. And I'm now, by proxy, feeling very hungry. So... I'm going to go get something to eat after this. Which should be... Pleasant. Should be. Hopefully. Oh, you can see the crimson... Not crimson bricks. Is it red never rack bricks? Yeah, red never bricks. I'm using for the perimeters. I'm finally getting those in. Uh, ooh, I, I find that ordering Subway generally is not good value because at least on, I want to say, Just Eat, they hike the price up quite a bit and they charge you delivery to boot. And yeah, it's it's not bad, but it's it's expensive for what you get. Uh, right, so I've got plenty of rotten flesh now. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to have to hang on to that. So, things I have not yet enchanted. This diamond hoe. Let's go take all the rotten flesh, take the string. Uh, anything else that was saleable? Uh, no. That's inconvenient. I might be able to sell flints eventually, but I need to get that trader leveled up a bit more first. Uh, I'm going to take the lever with me, take the paper with me, because it shouldn't be here. Um, right then. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. Do -do -do -do. 
Oh yeah, 15 quid for a burger is uh, way more. I just think, if it's like a good like restaurant burger, not like a, you know, takeaway one, then I guess, but even so, without the restaurant element of it, it kind of seems very overpriced. But that's again, just me being cheapskate. <laughs> so, mending is 32. Where's my... I need to get another ender chest out here. Because having to go all the way over here just takes such a long time. It's got 29, so I need three more. Um, come on, I've got a half stack there. I need two more. Looking forward to when I can get in. Actually, no. you know what I should do before I f for the next for like, there for the remainder of the stream. Let's go with that. Try and use coherent words. Is I should go and explore the Never Fortress as I've now got pretty good equipment for it. Uh, I reckon I could probably go and harvest the paper actually. Now I was going to do a stream of just building more houses in the town because the big terrace houses style ones I thought might be quite interesting as like a build project but uh, apparently not today. But now I know uh, takeaways near me you can get I think the one I normally opt for is you can get a burger or a kebab with an extra side of chips, so you get all the chips uh, for like eight quid, and they're good chips. You know, it'll, it'll it's a very filling meal, so that's why I generally opt for because it's the cheapest option, and that's with delivery. So you know. Uh, I know Uber Eats um, used to just change their delivery prices all the time. So you'd be like, okay, it's going to be like £2.50 delivery. Okay, it's £3.50 delivery. Okay, it's £4.50 delivery. Okay, it's £2.00 delivery. It's like... Yeah, the difference between £2.00 and £4.00 when you're not buying much is quite substantial. Hey, I got a slight discount. And I could get Fire Protection 4 from this guy as well. It's expensive, but I could do it. Uh, books, 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 books. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Thank you. Okay. So I got a mending book. So I can put that onto something. Yeah, I, I've got some park benches. It would be helpful for mining for debris, because that could be a bit more reckless, but... It's best not to encourage recklessness. Uh, store the books. Got but the button can go in the wood box. Hello, cat. Let's actually remember that the cat has a function. First. Will the cat be a cat? No. Excellent. But will it be a cat by the morning? No. Okay, so sometimes, you may not be familiar, the cat will come and... Oh, nice. Your cat will come and sleep on you, and then give you loot in the morning, basically. Alright then, there we go. Good girl. I've assumed, I'm just assuming it's a girl cat. It's assigning genders to the cats. Uh, right. Yeah, I've got some crying obsidian here, and I've got a bunch more back at uh, the... Other place. Just gonna store all of that as I've mixed it up now. So 
So I've got one bit of neverite scrap. And I'm going to need three more, which I've got, so I can make one more piece of neverite gear. The question will be, what? Because I've got a chest plate. And I can't make the neverite helmet, because that wouldn't work. So I can make the chest plate and get the full armor set, or I can make maybe my sword. So, let's check the maps for up to date. They appear to be excellent. What was I going to do here? Hmm. Tempted at some point to bring a few villages into the Never, but not yet. So I've still got plenty of food. I've sold all of that stuff. I've got. Did I need anything from the Overworld? Am I being really dumb? I don't remember. I'll find out, I'm sure. Uh, so I could put. Oh, I've got looting free sharpness. I could put mending on that. Or I could put mending on the breastplate. Have, I think the full armor set would look would look quite nice. The hoe can just go in there for now. Oh, you know this this mend this sword's pretty good. Sharpness free, I'm breaking. You know, it's it's been a it's stood the stood the test well. So I'm trying to have mending on an item before I make it never right, which actually reminds me that I need to put mending on my leggings. Oops. Uh, still got that ancient, ancient debris though. Uh, right, let's go yeet these eggs at something. And eventually I'll remember what I was going to do. So I've got plenty of chicken, I've got plenty of construction blocks, I need to get some torches. And let's go to the Never Fortress, because I've been saying that for ages and just not doing it. But I've got a good start to the wall done. It'll look imposing, hopefully, when it's finished, or it'll just look kind of terrible. We'll find out, I guess. Let's get those in the correct slot, get some construction blocks. Get some never construction blocks. Because all this bridge here is new. This little add-on tower is new. Because I wanted... Uh, I didn't want to fall out. Let's go there. So, torches always go on the left. Well, I'd done this already. So I'm trying to play, make the place look a bit more homely, but also reduce the chance of me getting killed by ghasts. So my plan is once I've so this area is all yeah doesn't doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to put doors in eventually. Uh, I'm actually going to go down here. I don't think I've been this way. Ah, there is a reason I've probably not been this way. Although it does go somewhere, I will need to find another way down. Or wade through lava, and I didn't bring any buckets with me. So, let's go this left. And we've got iron horse armor. That's, that's nice. Some saddles. Uh... Hmm. All right. Ah, that lava comes out the ceiling. There's, uh, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna take the chest with me. Screw it. It's not gonna do anything. Right, left, right. Uh, kind of want to have this place lit up because, as far as my things still spawn, even if it is not lit up, like skilly boys, 
this guy behind. Is there a good use of... Gotcha. Right then. Maybe that's enough to stop them spawning. Oh, there's another one. Ah, you're indoors, aren't you? You're trapped. You're not. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Ah. Oh. And I'm withered. Withered for an empty chest. Sounds like a distressing country in Western Song. Yep. That doesn't go anywhere. I can then block off this doorway. In fact, I should add a bit of style to these doorways. There we go. That looks a bit fancier. Oh! Nice. Uh, more of them. Alright. Well, I'm out of torches. Uh, not out of chests. But I'm out of chests that have stuff in them, apparently. Uh, right, that's just a loop. That's a wall. That doesn't go anywhere. I think I've got to go this way if I want to get anything done. One thing I do need to do is do lots of very low door lintels. So I can trap the skeletons. Hoping it might. There you go, it's that, don't go anywhere. This does. This is a strange glow. Oh, nice halo effect. Uh, this technically doesn't go anywhere. Technically. However, these junctions are where what's called spawn. So I just want to have a low height bar across them. This way, I think, next? Let's find out. Alright. That's a blaze spawner. So that can stay open. That don't go anywhere at all. Oh yeah. So eventually I'm going to make some signposts in here, so it'll all be nice and clear. Also the whole keeping torch on the left side means I always know vaguely which way I'm meant to be going. And that goes to nowhere. Lots of knowing know where this goes to. Yeah, I think I brought fences with me. There we go. That evidently doesn't go anywhere. This way.
don't think this was original, so... chicken intake up. No good sir. Ooh, gravel. Exciting. Ooh, more gravel. Spoiling me today. Ooh, a whole one block of obsidian. Calm down, mate. Oh, and ender pearls. Alright. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh, it's dark. Oh no! 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 So I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I might see you tomorrow. <laughs>